The Battle Cat Stories of Legends has given us some really good units, so today I'm gonna rank them. The units I'm gonna rank are as listed, so let's begin. Honos, why do you gotta f us like this, man? You give us our very own Bun Bun and he's complete horse shit. 68,000 HP with 190 range? Mm, that is terrible, man. Even strong against relics is like 130,000 HP, which is like below average. I'm so sad Mecha Bun Bun is this low, man. At least the recharge time is okay, and he's easy to evolve. I don't care, he's fun to f around with, but still kind of terrible. Sashi has gotten like way less relevant recently. I mean before immune to waves, that's like that was incredible back then. But like now with octopus, just a lot of like immune to wave abilities with like true forms and talents. Each update he just gets less and less relevant, man. 5,000 DPS on a 400 attack range, that is um pretty terrible. They tried saving him by giving him a, a chance to freeze relics for three seconds, which sounds good, but it's only 30%. And his attack frequency is like terrible. Musashi gives me like the vibe of a Hollywood actor. Like he was so famous before, but now he's just living behind a dumpster. Neandam is the... Uh, I, I don't know, man. It's, I, I could give two shits about him. Range is fucking superb. 551 range. That's like outranges Professor A. That stupid son of a bitch. It doesn't help that he has terrible GPS. HP is terrible. Fart in the wind will kill his ass. He's just a crowd controller, and even then, he's, he doesn't do that well of a job. 50% chance to slow all enemies for 3 seconds. 13 seconds per attack. That is not worth it, man. Now, the reason why I put little Neandam above Musashi is because there really isn't that many units that have this crazy of a range. Let's be real here. The only reason why you would ever use little Neandam is because of the bad guys research combo. But yeah, that's little Neandam. I just want to say, if you enjoyed the content, consider subscribing. Thank you. Alright, Mina's next, and I really f*** with the design, man. It goes so hard as hell. Prior to True Form, Mina was kind of uh, terrible, to say the least. But after the True Form, she actually has a bunch of potential. An attack range of 435, which is already good to begin with. But the thing is, she has long distance. From 300 to 700. God damn! And her DPS is actually not bad either. I mean, it could be worse. And her recharge time isn't bad either. Chance to weaken relic enemies to 50%. That's a small little bonus. Overall, she's a good unit, but it's a bitch to get since you have to play Growing Red 20 times. I hate that fucking boar. Like, MOVE! I, I don't know how to say the name, I'm just gonna say Ururun because that's how I hear Lucas say it. Ururun is a generalist cat that has a range of 450, so that's already good to begin with, but has 6,000 DPS, but she also has a 20% chance to knock back non-metal enemies. With an attack rate of 6 seconds, you're guaranteed to get a knockback. That is really good. When doing 4 stars, she's a prime use. And something I really like about her is that she has 4 knockbacks, so she could reposition herself 4 times before biting the dust. HP is good. Her recharge time could be better, if I'm being real. Immune to curse, so she doesn't have to go through all that relic bullshit. And her cat fruit evolution is definitely one of the better ones in this ranking, unlike Red Mina. Ururun is the cat that little Nyandam and Musashi wish they could be. A generalist that is good at their job. Itty is literally one of the best rushers in the game, bro. 13,000 DPS. Of course, that's regular for a rusher since they're supposed to go in, attack, and just die. The thing she has going for is the fact that she has massive damage against relic enemies. At level 30, Itty does 37,000 damage per second to relic enemies. God fucking damn! And what's even better is that she has immune to curse and search attacks, so she's literally built to kill relic enemies in Uncanny Legends. Movement speed is really fast as it's a rusher. So she's guaranteed to do that insane damage and her recharge time is good with 90 seconds So look she's amazing and all but why do you have to beat stories of legends four times to get her bro? Man fuck that shit man. I'm using my level 55 fully talented Balrog cat 